Hello, this is George, KS1U, with another rebuild. As you know from uh, some previous videos and articles I've done, I prefer a complete teardown, uh, right to the chassis, removing all components, switches, everything. And uh, the SB102 that I did was a, a really complex project, took uh, dozens and dozens of hours. So I thought I'd uh, post one here of a, a little less intensive rebuild. It's the HD 1410 Kier by Heathkit. It was a nice kit to begin with. Uh, it's a little dated now. So I thought that I'd update it a little bit during this rebuild. Now the kit that I uh, purchased that was completed actually worked, but it was owned by a smoker, so there was a lot of tar and uh, it was it was in pretty rough shape but it was all there so I took this one right down to the circuit board cleaned the circuit board thoroughly uh, got all the tar and stains off of it and uh, of course replaced it with all modern components um, instead of the 10% or 5% uh, carbon film resistors I used uh, 1 and 2% metal film uh, low value electrolytics were replaced with tantalums. The ICs uh, were replaced with uh, new old stock gold plated uh, pins, and I used the uh, gold plated uh, sockets as well. Uh, one thing you'll notice on the front here is that uh, there are a couple of uh, bencher uh, paddles. The original Heath kit was kind of big and clunky and I had grown accustomed to the, uh, the bencher paddles that I had rebuilt and the, the reason I had them left over is, let's see if I can show this here, the, um, here are my bencher paddles and I wanted uh, some uh, gold uh, contacts in there and just to make this a unique uh, looking uh, paddle that now has black, chrome, and, uh, and gold. So anyhow, I purchased the uh, uh, new paddles that I put on the bencher and had these left over, so I put them on the, uh, the Heath kit keyer here, and it feels much better to me. Uh, as you know from the other videos I've done, I'm one of those guys, if I had unlimited funds, I'd love to just buy one of those Heath kits that are unbuilt or Icos that are unbuilt that you see on uh, eBay occasionally. But you can get the same <laughs> pleasure out of rebuilding these kits by just buying one that's all ready together, take it completely apart, clean it, and put modern components in it. All you need is the manual, which I had for this, and uh, you're good to go. So I made a couple of modifications to this, and uh, one of them, the probably the only thing I didn't like about the uh, 1410, aside from the, the chunky uh, paddles, was that it originally had a square wave or modified square wave side tone. Uh, I was able to uh, find a, a schematic online from Jason, NT7S, for a uh, sine wave uh, code practice oscillator. And I built one up using Manhattan style uh, construction. First of all, here's, here's what it sounds like. Much better than the, uh, the original. And uh, I'm just gonna unplug this here so I can show you. This is where I stuck the um, the Manhattan construction for the code practice oscillator. Now uh, I made a few other modifications too. Uh, this is now an LED instead of an incandescent bulb. The uh, the rear panel is a little different. I've used uh, gold-plated uh, phono uh, jacks here. Uh, there's a switch here I put on for left or right-handed keying. And I removed the AC cord. I left all the contacts in there. Uh, to reconnect it, it would be a simple matter to solder three connections and add the, uh, uh, the fuse. 
but the chances of me using uh, 120 volts uh, instead of 12 <laughs> is pretty small and I really like these power pole connectors so that was uh, done because that reflects my my operating style. I replaced the uh, speaker with a, a more modern uh, speaker. The other one probably had a few more hours left in it but uh, but not much. Uh, it it uh, is probably one of the things you should definitely replace. Uh, keying the uh, the oscillator here uh, since it's no longer on board I took a voltage off of the uh, the circuit board and it um, operates a read relay that I mounted up here and the uh, the thing works great I'm uh, really pleased with uh, the improvement uh, the thing is now clean and I'm hoping that it will last another uh, 50 or 70 years or more uh, with these uh, modern components uh, it may last longer than that and I actually like to use this. Oh, one other thing that I did is I replaced the uh, voltage regulator circuit that they used, uh, which uh, involved a Zener diode. So I used many of the original traces, but used a, a linear regulator down here. And for the large value electrolytics, I uh, chose high temperature uh, capacitors. Well, that's it. Uh, for this uh, abbreviated rebuild, now, as always, this is KS1U, clear and listening.